So welcome to episode one of the Business Survival Guides. Today we're gonna to talk about how to create survivability in this new economy. In this video, we're gonna go over the options that you have to create survivability in your business and how you can utilize the market to reframe the business model around this new economy to profit or continue the profits that you already have. So let's take a look at the first point here. Insolvency versus scrutinized debt. Now, this is what's being presented as the only option right now if you are a business that is struggling with a lower customer base because of the coronavirus and the impact it has had on your customer segment. So if you're one of these businesses that has seen a decline in sales because of the coronavirus impact on your industry, you need to look at the options that you have available to you. Now, one of the options and the most easiest uh, to do is to close your business. A lot of businesses has been, have been closing. I don't necessarily advise this, but if there's no way to pivot your business model, uh, you certainly don't want to get more into debt and more into uh, it, unnecessary expenses that you may not have to pay if you just close down your business. So I would say make an educated decision if you need to close down, if you need to become insolvent. You know, that's a, uh, a hard decision for sure but you can always start another business. Uh, the objective is to keep your mental health and your, your physical health very healthy so you don't have to worry about unnecessary business things that uh, are probably not the most important thing in life here. So I do wanna stress that um, you know, your health and your mental health and your family's safety is probably one of the most important things that you can be worried about. And second to that is obviously your business. So there's a lot of new programs that are coming out now, PPP, and uh, I think there's a, a couple other. I'm not too familiar with them, but I have been researching them. And a lot of them I find to have the um, accrued debt component. So it's a loan, so you're, you do have to pay that back. Now, some of those loans are forgiven. Um, to what extent, I'm not too familiar. But I do want to say you're, you're looking at two options right now as the two options that have been provided to you. But are those the only options? So one is, is insolvency and the other one is scrutinized debt. You know, the, the government may come after you. These lenders may come after you down the road and say, hey, did you really spend uh, $10,000 here for salaries or did you spend $10,000 here for other business expenses that are not according to the, the fine print? And so we don't want to put your business in a bad position there. So we want to really make sure that you're looking at all the options that are on the table. So we have insolvency, we have scrutinized debt, and then the third option, which is not really being presented to you, is how can you pivot your business? And so today I wanna to talk to you about how to pivot your business. At Invents Labs, we use the LAM analysis, which is a um, glorified version of the lean model canvas or the business model canvas, and we're utilizing specialized and detailed processes and procedures to pivot the business model into a format that the customer segment still can grow, your customer base can still grow, but also your sales will multiply because you're providing value to your customer segment that you weren't providing before. And now that we're in a new economy, we have to change the value system of your business. So I wanna do an exercise with you guys. Let's pretend your company is a startup, a brand new startup. Now, maybe you've been in business for 10 years or something, but I just want you to uh, put yourself in the shoes of a startup mindset. And if you're in a startup mindset, you're trying to impress the investor if you're looking for Series A funding. And the investor is going to look for profitability. So you looking for a loan right now to sustain your salaries is not uh, creating sustainability in your organization. So we wanna take a step back and look at how are you creating product market fit in this new economy and how are your customers responding to the value that you're providing as an organization. Now, as an investor, I would look at your company and say, okay, well, your customers are no longer being satisfied by your existing product. So your product must shift to fit the needs of this customer in the new economy. So I would say, analyze your customer's needs understand your customers' needs, and then redevelop and redesign your solutions to fit that customer base. So if you look at an example like Tesla, Tesla has repurposed their Tesla motor parts or their Tesla components to create ventilators right now because the world is in need of ventilators and they have the necessary team and the necessary tools to make it happen. 
So this is a perfect business model pivot. Obviously, people are still buying Tesla technology, but their sales are probably declining as well. Now, I'm not saying that your business is like Tesla. Obviously, they are a behemoth, and we're looking at small and medium-sized businesses in these videos. But I want to provide just some perspective on how these businesses are able to get by and able to pivot in industries that are much larger than what you and I may be into. So lastly, I wanna to talk to you guys about how we at Invents Labs are pivoting our business. Now at Invents Labs, our mission is to ignite impact organizations through culture, innovation, and technology. Now our customer segment is very broad, but you can hear it in our mission. It's igniting impact organizations. So we're looking at organizations that provide an economic or societal benefit in some capacity. Now that could be a food business that is just providing food or sustenance to people, or it could be something that's like a nonprofit and they're providing an actual service Service to individuals. We're basically helping businesses to pivot. We're helping businesses to understand where they can apply our customized AAM model. Now this model is used as a roadmap for success in their business. So we uh, take the roadmap, we analyze or audit their business, and we figure out what solutions they're missing from their current model. We're sourcing data from all over the world to figure out what our customers' problems are now, and that data is analyzed for how their customer fallouts are being met with reactivity from the business model and how we can develop customized solutions to help them pivot in a new economy. And so in order to understand how to pivot them, we need to know what their problems are. And so we're sourcing the internet for all of their problems. Once we collect their problems, we're developing customized videos on their specific industry. So it's helping us to navigate this really rough terrain in this new economy to figure out how to provide solutions for our customer base. So I encourage you guys to just ask your customers, you know, what problems are you experiencing? Keep in touch with them. You know, constant communication with your clients is really important and vital at this time. They want to know that you care about them and that you're understanding that their problems are your problems. You're both experiencing a lack of customer base. And how can you help them solve for that? So if you're in the B to C um, business, you need to look at your customer base and understand what fears they're experiencing and how to cover their fears with different uh, neuromarketing techniques. So if you need any more information, please comment below. We'd love to help you out, see where we can help create videos on your industry and just let us know what you need and we're, we're here to help guys. So come visit us at inventslabs.com and we look forward to hearing from you.